The restaurant business is constantly growing, changing, and evolving with limitless opportunities for success. But at a time when people are eating out more than ever before, why do 90% of new restaurants fail? 90% of the restaurants out there fail. And the reason they're failing is because they're not taking the time to position themselves properly. Is building a successful restaurant really so complicated? What is the secret? Meet Paul Yarmuluk, an expert in the development of successful restaurants. With over 40 years of professional experience in the hospitality industry, Paul has educated entrepreneurs, executives, and students about the business of the culinary industry and can provide the framework for helping new restaurants succeed and for avoiding disaster. Paul Yarmuluk has a wide scope of experience from his work as an entrepreneur, a businessman, a senior executive, a consultant, and an educator. His first major success was the development of the El Torito Grill, an expansion project by the El Torito Group in Southern California. Other successful ventures include the Keystone Grill in Indianapolis, a chain-wide creative overhaul of Fuddruckers, and numerous other establishments. Since opening his consulting business, he has helped develop, maintain, and improve hundreds of restaurants around the world, from Canada to Indonesia, Argentina, Japan, and Thailand. Paul was also the academic director of culinary arts at the International Culinary School of the Art Institute of California, educating the next generation of entrepreneurs with his tried and true methods of creating successful establishments. Okay. What does all of that mean? You got an idea for a restaurant and you want somebody to figure it out. Everything has to be put on paper first. A vision statement states your purpose and why you're there. If it was a Japanese restaurant or it was a Mexican restaurant, that vision statement, that glimpse into the future is what needs to be done first. How are we gonna charge for this menu? Who is gonna be our guest? We do a demographic study. Once we have that, you go out and you do a competitive analysis. Then you can run numbers. Then we begin to have an idea of how we're gonna make that restaurant look. We look at pictures and books and magazines and architectural. There's a psychological process that goes on in a consumer's mind if a business has done its homework effectively, it will be successful. The menu vehicle is everything. The language is the first shot you have at romancing the guest. Drizzled, bundled, jumbo, extra large ingredients like lavender, peewee potatoes, voodoo shrimp. All these words in one form or another create appealing reading to the guest. Now the next step after all that is that you gotta deliver the food that was promised by those nice words on the menu. Hot food hot, cold drinks cold, get the money in the bank. That's the fundamental mantra of operations. Every month we should evaluate what is selling well and what's not. If I'm asked to come into an existing operation, chances are the restaurant's in trouble. They're underfinanced, they're underplanned. Guests are not coming in uh, as often as they should. I'll look at the, the salt and pepper shakers and if they're dirty, uh, I'll, I'll be disappointed. I wanna make sure that they're doing the, the job as efficiently and as coolly as possible. Working in the education field has been greatly rewarding. It's been an opportunity for me to pay forward as well as to give back. It's the 40 years of background knowing how things really work. That's the kind of services that I like to offer and that's what I do. Currently, Paul is a frequent contributor to panel discussions and seminars, putting a greater focus of his time into education. He is also authoring an autobiography about his 40 years of experience. The new book will be partially anecdotal and partially educational and will reveal his theories and methods of building a successful business. Additionally, Paul is producing an educational four-part DVD series which will include case studies and interviews with successful restaurateurs detailing the secrets of their success. The restaurant business will always change with the times, but as things change, certain business standards will always remain the same. Paul Yarmuluk's wisdom, his vast and diverse amount of experience, and his passion for the business are the key ingredients he can bring to a restaurant, a seminar, or a classroom. And what Paul can bring to the table 
can help anyone keep their tables full.